Hornby's LMS representative for the Big Four collection is the Fowler 264 tank. Now this model originally came from Hornby 40 years ago, but this manifestation is from 20 years ago, and in fact it's been upgraded since then. It is a very fine model indeed. The livery application is exquisite. There's lots of detail, and as you'll see, it runs really well. Now Hornby is a bit of a quandary Hornby has a bit of a quandary with regard to the LMS representative because with regard to the other three, the LNERA1, Great Western Castle and Southern King Arthur, they were the principal express passenger locomotives in 1923 for their respective companies. But Hornby doesn't have an express passenger locomotive for the LMS from 1923, only the superannuated compound. So this has to do, but I think it does very, very well. It was a very successful engine after all, and this is in 1927 as built condition. It will appeal to the collectors. Now I don't have much in the way of LMS stock, so I've put together this train, made up mainly of modified RTR items. Now you'll note later on, with a couple of stills, I have the locomotive heading smoke box first. But when I tried it smoke box first, the bogey derailed. The coupling tended to snatch, and no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't cure it. Now it might just be a one-off, I don't know. But for the purposes of this video, it runs superbly in reverse. Now I don't know what happened with the real things in 1927 when the class was built, but for the time it got long travel valves and decent bearings. A lot of the ex-Midland or Midland design locomotives of the period suffered from poor bearings and short travel valves. So Mr. Anderson must have been away on holiday when this locomotive, the real locomotive, was designed. Now you can see how smoothly it runs. It's powerful too. As I say, it's a worthy representative for the LMS. But since no RTR dreadnought or Clawton is available, then this has to fly the flag for the LMS. A hundred years ago, the Big Four. Can it really be that long? I saw these, of course, not in LMS Lake. I'm not that old, but in BR Black. My advice, with it being collectible and only 500 pieces being made, I should order it, get it. It will retain its value, I'm sure.